multiple roots. Okay, so there are ver several problems that arise when we try to solve a um, when we try to solve for uh, the roots of an equation that has multiple roots. And in particular, there are three problems that arise when we try to do this. Uh, there is a problem that the uh, that the derivative goes to zero and in a lot, several of the formulas that we use uh, that derivative is either approximated or used explicitly and we're dividing by it. So for example here we have the uh, newton raphson method. So here we can show this. So this is the newton raphson method Uh, for uh, the equation for estimating the root and if you look right here we're dividing by the derivative so that is bad okay uh, another problem that we have in uh, the second problem that we have is that the function itself uh, may not change signs so we may not change signs. In other words, when we try to establish a bracket, it, um, we may not change signs. So one, one example where we see this problem happen is just for the simple example of y equals x squared. So we can see both of these two problems that we brought up earlier come in. First of all, uh, right here where the root is, we see that uh, we we are going to zero. The the diff, the the, uh, the tangent line is actually shown, but it's actually also the 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 zero line, and we can see that the derivative at that point is zero. Uh, the other problem, of course, if we tried to use a bracketing method uh, and we were evaluating a bracket with say uh, whatever method we were trying to do to find a bracket, we would evaluate the function at a number of points for example here and we would get positive here we get positive and basically everywhere except for the point right where it's zero even right next to it we're gonna get positive 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 evaluate it right here so really no matter where we evaluate this function we're gonna get positive or, or perhaps zero if we're lucky but that will almost never happen so uh, we're always going to get positive. We can't come up with a sign change, and so that is another problem. Uh, the third problem that we have is a uh, problem of so oh, uh, of slow convergence, and I would just point out. Um, it's not only a problem of dividing by zero for the newton raphson method, it's also a problem for the secant method because the secant method, the only difference is that it uses an approximation to the derivative in the denominator, so it exhibits the same problem. Uh, and so the newton raphson method and, uh, con happens to converge very slowly when, when we have uh, multiple roots. And another example that we can see uh, of an equation with multiple roots uh, is this one. And again, uh, pointing out the problems here, we see that the uh, the derivative goes to zero, so especially the open methods are really going to suffer uh, here. Um, although this one wouldn't be so bad, uh, for a bracketing method, uh, we still may have slow convergence, but for a bracketing method, we would uh, we would at least have a have a sign change, which, as we as we saw above, um, may not happen. So uh, we have the derivative going to zero, and that's a triple root, okay? And then we we also have another root here. So uh, the, the real question then that we come up with is what approaches can we use so that we can actually uh, find these roots and not run into the problems that we talked about here of uh, having a derivative that goes to zero, slow convergence, and and no sign changes. And and really, there's there's nothing we can do about the fact that there is no sign change. And so uh, it's probably better if we suspect multiple roots, simply not to use, especially 
uh, one that just comes down and touches the axis like x squared does as I showed um, it's probably better not to use uh, a bracketing method or if we do we may just realize that we're, we may not we may have missed the root